Finally, the court ruled in a case out of Grants Pass, Oregon, that cities can enforce bans against sleeping in public, even if the sleepers have no homes and no other access to shelter. Um, this this is also kind of healthcare adjacent, but could have repercussions, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's healthcare adjacent in two senses. One is the arguments that the local governments were making, which is that um, this is, you know, having people camping in public places is a public health problem. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of attendant problems that the local governments say they have to deal with that affect the health of the community. But it's also an important health issue from the perspective of the people who are unhoused, who are, you know, are forced to sleep in their cars or in public because housing is, you know, one of the primary drivers of health. And we know there's a horrible housing crisis in this country. It's not just people who have limited income who can't find housing. You know, people at higher and higher income levels are struggling to find housing now. And so it just seemed like the ultimate cruelty to say to people, yes, we know you don't have housing. We know it's impossibly unaffordable. We know there's a shortage. And at the same time, too bad for you. Um, this, you know, the the underpinning of this decision is, for years, they had said you can't. It's it's a cruel and unusual punishment under the Eighth Amendment to have critical criminal penalties against people who, uh, because of their status, like you can't have criminal pen penalties for being an addict. You can't have criminal penalties for someone being homeless. But what they they split this hair and said, well, they're they're it's not for being homeless. It's because they're camping. And Justice Sotomayor in her de dissent sort of said, oh, come on, you know, like that's, you know, really a distinction without a difference. And it's um, uh, the the real concern on the part of Justice Gorsuch writing for the majority was for the local governments and how hard this was on them and how difficult and OK, but it's really hard on the people who who are, you know, who are going to be forced to stay awake or go to jail. <laughs> 